Hey Stampers, I'm back. We're going to finish it off with our page. I know we did the front page, but we did put quite a lot on there. So we've got these lovely open. I'm loving the cracks in these papers. They're just beautiful. So again, we've got these tuck spots. I'm not going to go showing it you every time I open it because we'll be here forever otherwise. So let's turn this. We're going to flip this this way. Now I want to create um, a flap. And then I'm going to... I'm going to need that. I'm not having it closing the whole way. So my pages are nine. So I'm going to take this down to nine and... I'm just going to take that down to nine, actually. Because I want it the same length. And then I'm going to score. So if I just put that on there... Nine. It's better to work my guillotine than, you know, because it's quicker to, and easier to move out of the way. So don't throw these bits because you can use those. And then I'm going to score the long side. It, yeah, the long side, the short side even, at half an inch. And then I'm just going to mitre the ends. and burnish that now because I'm going to add a little bit of interest on here as well so this is going to get attached to our page here all the way down but first I'm going to do that gorgeous gorgeous pattern um, down the side so let's get my first piece in it's only so I know where it's going to punch and then, oopsie, I missed the end a little bit there, tiny little nick that off. And then I can line this up then perfectly and just punch down. She says, not, I'll do that in a sec. Just make it sure it's at the back of there. little punch beautiful so we just made one little tiny boo-boo there gainer so get it perfect out the way I love those little swirls that come off that because don't they remind you of musical notes <laughs> so we're going to attach this right along there now and I'm using glue because it's so much easier and I'm always gonna... you get the wiggle space see but not with the art glitter glue sometimes it goes straight off but I don't want too much bulk on the back of these pages because, you know, the hinges. Uh, don't let those cardboard pieces go to waste that stamp it up, um, send you with your stuff. I'm loving this so we can put a nice strip down there uh, once we start to decorate now. And now I want to add a pocket in here. So I think that's about right. So I'm going to score this at half inch on three sides I'm going to just measure the first the third one just pop that there so I'm just going to fold that for a second and I know it's going to go down off the bottom but I'm going to, that's going to work out perfect so I'm now going to score that up half inch that side as well so we're going to mite these And the reason I do that is, like I say, when you fold over, you've got something just to glue that bit down for a sec. And then you can just add your glue all the way around and you haven't got to worry. 
So let me just fold that over. Perfect. Just give that a good burnish. So I'm making it up as we're going along. So let's just check that again. That is going to fit along there beautifully and it won't interrupt our gorgeous pattern on the other side. Isn't that beautiful? Do you know, it's all trial and error, you know, when you make albums. You get it right sometimes, sometimes you don't. You know what works and what doesn't. Just have fun. Add all these little elements and, you know, and making sure that's right down the bottom. And that, I'm going to stand that up so we can make sure it doesn't impair on us closing our pages as well. So that is perfect, huh? So I'm just going to make sure that's in there beautifully. Lovely, 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 lovely. So I would probably have. Let's see what we've got now. Got this beautiful little bucket and spade. I can add that in the center and then we can piece around that. So I'm just want to look at the back. Oh yes, I know now what is on the back. Per oh do we have the teddy bear? It's the same width, isn't it? Let's have a look. We will cut these down to size anyway. A slightly bigger border than that one, so I'm just going to take a little touch off the top. I'm going to keep all these about the same distance, so I need a slither off there, just a slither because it's not matching up. That's better. Perfect. So let's see what's going to work. Oh gosh, I wonder, oh I don't want to take anything off there. So is it going to be the bucket and spade? We could actually map that on some coloured cardstock. See if I've got any, anything in my bin. Any brown or something. Uh, no, but I'm going to, i tell you what, oh, wait there. That's probably not big enough. Oh, it will be. Perfection. So let's have a look. We're going to, we want a white border and we want that nice dark brown border as well. How superb. Finding a perfect piece. Excellente. The other bit I cut off. The. Perfect. So I'm going to line that on there with a nice little white border all the way around. Then I'm going to add this piece on there as well. How superb! get a few sheets actually because there is some like um, soft suede colours on here I love that make sure that's on there and then we can stick that on there that is so pretty <laughs> cut the dropsies Love these papers. I mean, you could have um, tucked behind, but it was no point when we've already got a pocket there to tuck in. And we've got these gorgeous labels. So there, oh, it's the bucket and spade one. How about this gorgeous thing? Absolutely stunning. That can go in there. But first of all, 
I'm going to add some DSP here. And let's see what we've got up here. We've got them stunning balloons. Or we could have that teddy bear sitting on there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that can go inside there. Oh, I love that. Oh, I just love it. It's beautiful. So, let's trim off the white. It's definitely not getting any papers go to waste. So, I'm going to decide now. Are we going to have that beautiful bear there? I think he'd look better down there, don't you? So this is the perfect width. Just give me that little border all the way around. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Wait now, Gainer. Are you not going to do anything on that inside? You're going to add pockets. So, ooh, I nearly added a piece of paper then that I may not need to do. So I want some flaps now on here. I want to open these up as flaps. So if I grab some more of our card. I don't know why it's got marks on it. It must be my heavy handedness or it's how it came in the box. So what's the height on that? We need to take that down. All the way down, and then I'm um, that's six. Let me just grab my measure. So, from there, which is the end of here, that is four and seven eighths. So, we have four and seven eighths, and then one, two, three, four. So, we take it down to five and three eighths. We can get two pieces off it then. And then we're going to score there. Five and three eighths. And we'll have another one. And then what we need to do is just put them up close and trim them down. So we know they're going to be exactly the same size. Perfect. I don't mind throwing those little bits. So we're going to score these two at five eighths. Oops, a daisy. We're going to score these at half inch. And half inch. I'm going to mitre those as well. these again and add our flaps. Just get them. So when we come back in, isn't that beautiful? I'm loving the white and I know people wouldn't associate vintage with white but they can get attached now. One that side. And then this one is going to get attached this side. So it's the same. And it's going to adhere down there just beautifully. Just make sure I 
I didn't flick any glue on there. So we can turn this around. Just line it up. Don't go over the score line there. You need to be able to fold and close. So that's that one, and then we can do the same to this one. Do you know what I'm going to do? I am not. I'm just going to add that back on top. Let's do something different. Shall they line up perfectly straight because they were cut they're both the same size beautiful so we've now oh glue so we've now got these pages that open and open so we've got one two and then we to keep those pages closed then we can, maybe I should have just taken a little inch off those, add that to keep them closed. Oh, I need, oh, why did I do that for Gaither? Are you going to get stuff in that pocket now? So, thumbnail, pom holes, perfect. Grab myself a, a one inch circle punch, and I'm just going to, Punch that out, line that up with his bestest friend, <laughs> and I'm going to punch that out as well. Perfect. So they're both level, and it gives the recipient somewhere to grip hold of when they want to open those pages. And then we will have. Sorry, I have just. That is just a bit tad there showing. Tuck it under so I don't want that. I want that to be able to close that. They need to have a little slither come off. Just a tiny oh, arm. I'm going to do that now. Oh, my knife. Hmm. Probably me now in I look, I'll cut straight through. So if I put. Uh, what can I use? I'll use my silicone mat with it. And I'm just going to take a slither off. Use my sharp new one. Oops. There we go. straight line for me, save a toffee. Then I can open up this one and do the same. For some reason I just didn't seem to want to line up. Quite gone through. That's why I could see cutting through the other one as well. get things wrong we have we are like it is how can I say I'm, oh I have it as well slice my mat in half <laughs> so don't make any more boo-boos like that Gainer at least you didn't go through your album oh what a silly sausage but it is handmade <laughs> 
Oh, I'm a silly sausage. Why didn't I just stick to the flat? Now I've got plenty of space there. Now I'm just going to snip that out a little bit more because I've dropped my punch on the floor. There it is. You want to see my bedroom floor, uh, my craft room floor, should I say, girls? It is a heap of a mess. There we go. Now I've got better thumbnails. That is perfect. I'm going to cover that up anyway, so. <clears throat> That's better. So they can see that there's somewhere for them to open. And then my tag will go in there and it will keep those pages closed. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. I love that. Beautiful. I'm gonna make some more, but we're gonna make some more later anyway, so. Right, now I need to decorate our flaps. I want something to go in there that's, oh, it's gonna get really thick, isn't it? Oh my goodness, how thick is this? And that is just, that's that page. We've got these flaps. We don't even have to add, oh, what a silly sausage. I could have had them so they opened on this side. That, for some reason, is not joining it up. Oh, it's handmade, Dana. So I could just decorate that piece. Let me see what else we've got up here. I need to get some beautiful patterns on. Look at that. Ice cream man. I certainly haven't thought this one through. That's better. <coughs> so I'm going to have those balloons pieces we they are precious and so is this so I'm going to attach that piece just above the perfect oh I mind you I like the balloons not with a bucket and spade I am doing lovely. No, I'm not joking. Alright, get this on. Nice little border. All the way around. Just use your bone folder to make sure you spread the glue out. Oh, I'm loving that page. Isn't that beautiful? What's wrong with that? So I'm going to edge these and I'm going to pop a strip and we're going to be able to just flip that over. They're going the wrong way now. So let's have the spots. So I want about half an inch, top and bottom. So I'll cut this slice in half. So I want that to be... about there. I'm sure I can cut this. With my scissors. I really didn't need to. I'm just going to make sure. And this measures one and a half so I'm going to do three quarters. Add that 
there. And then we're going to cut that out again. for that to go off and then I will add that piece up there as well. I'm going to utilise as much of this paper as possible. Beautiful. So we've got another piece there for a photo mat. We can put a photo on there as well. This gorgeous little dolly. She can go down one side. Still got that for a tuck spot. Well, we didn't have. We might as well have just glued it down, Gainey. You didn't get tuck spot area in there, did you? So there we go. It's not a tuck spot anymore. <laughs> but you know, you could add. Still add a decent sized bow. I wish I had now. That would look lovely in there. This is what we're going to decorate this side with. I'm going to get some brown card. And I'm going to leave that space for journaling. So let me get some soft sweet. That's a couple of pieces so I don't have to keep going back and forth. So like this mirrored at the bottom, this is going to have uh, a piece of card as well. I'm going to just put it about there, leave about that much gap for them to have uh, a journaling spot as well. Make sure that's lined up perfect. And I think they're going to be there. going to go on there. Beautiful. Turn it over because you've just used your pencil. And then this gorgeous little girl is going to get, I'm going to pop that in the centre there. Beautiful. We're going to do some flowers on. Not now, later when we come to decorate. Keeping your distances. I love this back of this colour as well. Perfect. like a photo then you know as if somebody's just hung it on the wall so I need to clip this out where's my punch gone there it is So they can leave this section there for journaling on. This is a photo mat. 
going to do uh, do the same on here. I'm going to pick another picture, or maybe even this, and put that all the way down. Seems off, doesn't it? I don't know. It's me. Oops, don't go slip in there. Like you do. Oh, I can't see me. There it is. Found it. Don't throw these strips, they make a perfect um, my flap looks like it's disappeared. Perfect. Considering I was eyeballing it with the glue. Perfect, that's got it lovely. So we've got more photos. I'm going to put some journaling lines across there. I may add a small. No, I'm not. I'm not going to mess around with it. So these are going to go across there. And then one more decoration. And then this beautiful flap is going to get held down by this and then we're going to move on to this section and this section. Oh my gosh, I'm going to end up running out of paper. <laughs> so what I might do now is use some of my brown and then use white over the top so it's a photo mat. So I'm just going to stick this in there for a minute. Just give it a five minute rest. And whilst I turn this around, measure that piece so we know when to cut our white down to. So that is four and three quarters by five and one eighth. Perfect. Again, I'm going to cut that out. Should have done all this at the end, but then it won't cut through three lots. Let's 
Mr. Boy's going to come up and see my craft room and he's going to go nuts. He's like, what? You've, you pay, you, um, your craft room is stinking. Where's the white gun? I've moved my white cardstock. Where have I put it? The thin white stuff. Gain, what have you done with that? I don't know where that's gone, girls, but I've got loads more here. Gee, you can't put anything down in this house. I have uh, put stuff down and it's disappeared. So I'm just going to use this cheap cardstock. So what did I say? Four and three quarters. So let's take that down to four and five eighths by five. And then we can add a balloon or something. In. I wish he sold stickers with these paper collections uh, with the lace roll up, but you just get lots of. Cutouts, and again, I'm gonna to have to go through that. <laughs> that the whole punch is gonna be like, I've had enough already, take me home. <laughs> Gosh, she's getting thicker and thicker. Perfect, it finally went through, and there's nothing showing this. So, we've got our photo mat. We've got a space there, to, but uh, we've got a space for a photo map there and journaling. We've got that to, and this. Uh, where's my little bag of balloons? All that lovely little teddy there, something. I'm gonna put that nice little balloon on there. And just to keep this side plain and simple, I'm going to put that down there. I am going to just add a border all the way round and across the centre, and just leave that open for two large photo mark uh, areas. So let's get some strips cut. White and brown together. Balloons, I want balloons and I want a half inch strip. So let's take it's perfect for the width. Just gonna get my height. I'm going to take these because I know the half inch strips up to that metal. One. Two. And then we want going to fit in there or oh, just Down here, 
I may need another middle strip because and I've just sliced the way through that teddy bear. Oh bless. I have another pack of paper, I promise. Can't believe how long this one's taken. But it's not like we I've got everything cut and measured. We are literally cutting and measuring together. And I haven't written anything down, have I? Aren't I naughty? I may have to shorten those pieces. Just come up a little bit now. Sweetie. What are you cho scuffing? The yeah, dark chocolate with fruit in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll let you off. See you later. Love you. Love you. So I'm going to cut another strip of this. Oh, that looks on the wonk game. I've left the next. That's supposed to be in a straight line, lovely. Look at that, I'll be right out. I'm loving these balloons. On top and bottom, and I'm going to have one in the middle as well, so they can see that they can add photos there. Where's that piece? Let's get another half inch strip out of that. Oh, made me jump that dead piece of paper. It sure is. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I could never get half inch strips. So I need that to be there. That's perfect at the top. Roughly in the middle to me. Okay, now well, your eyesight's terrible. There. I'm just going to eyeball it roughly. I think that looks pretty even. I don't know what that is. But 
there we go I'm finishing off with that that is absolutely gorgeous now I'm going to tuck our tag in there and that's going to keep that page closed so okay now what have we done oh I thought I'd had it upside down then this whole time oh flipping egg <laughs> so no this is a page one a page two I don't think I am going to get more than four pages in this uh, album it's humongous and it's unless I calm it down a little bit so I'm going to do the same on this panel as I did here and maybe do quarter inch strips and I'm going to have let's see what else we've got in our paper collection these beautiful toys and this is on the reverse I like that we have this one look with the pram love all this and this is on the reverse oh I'm loving the love heart and then we have this one with the girls and toys again with a plain background and the spots oh I love it and I've even got, and I'm going to have to open it, this one. And we've got the reverse of this as well, which is that brown one. I cut the other two extra pieces I had up. In fact, I cut the three of them. So we've even got that side as well. So that's going to give me strips. In my battery and that's not so let's take our pick now we could cut those I've already got them I will cut them anyway four strips uh, so let's just pop them to one side make sure we get the right distance now between them because there are three strips there there's one there's the two and there's the three so I'm gonna pop that in use that as a really small border that one beautiful and then the love hearts I'm going to go straight down the center for that one gorgeous thing is I'm not gonna get four pieces out of the love heart one unless I cut the love heart papers up I'm making sure that's right on that edge, brown edge so I've got my borders beautiful so um, I'm going to cut this off people resent cutting these tags up but I've got lots of them so I don't really need to keep that as tags so I'm going to put these in now I'm going to, I'm going to do half inch strips oh that's a quart no it's a half inch strip again so I'm just going to do two sure it's back on there so it's lined up right at the back and it's just going to take two of those for now and we're going to pop these around this beautiful page so we can dress this page as well and make it look like photo mats so Fingers are covered in glue. Oh, 
Oh, I've got a swig of me coffee, lady. This is a really bulky page. I can't believe how much bulk is on this. So many ideas, you can't just cram them in on the first two pages, Kena. You've got to spread it out for the album, darling. <laughs> she starts telling herself off. Oh. Hi, my battery just died another death before we could finish off this gorgeous album. So now we need to cut down there. Cut another full strength. Oh, oh Gaina, okay, where's that just gone now? Get it on before you do yourself a mischief again. definitely need another long one so where's that gone oh. I'm hopeless I'm hopeless 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 What I'm going to do is I'm going to add something in the centre and not just glue it in the centre so you can tuck behind. No, definitely the teddy bear. And I'm just going to glue through the centre. And that way. You can use them as a tuck spot. Top and bottom. going to leave that like that so there's page one and two I am going to tool off and I'm going to come back with a plan I think and I'm going to write those measurements down for all these workings out because I've not been doing it as I'm going long so I've just done an hour I'm going to make sure I've got something planned in my head instead of just trying to make it up as I'm going along and I'm going to find out where those white papers went to because <laughs> I've put them down somewhere I can't find them anywhere so come back on the next video and we will then start and have a plan ready and we can crack on with the rest of those pages. I, I am loving this so far, what do you reckon?
we've got this beautiful top tuck spot. Got a tuck spot there. We have got a tuck spot on here. Open them up. Photo spaces on there and there. We've got photo mats for here. I love it. We're going to do those strips if there's anything left over at the end. A lot going on. Hence the gusset at the top. And that beautiful flap on the underneath. And then we turn over and we've got this little section here for more photos and tuck spots. Same there. But this one we've got that gorgeous tag which we remove. We've got these beautiful pages that open up this way and this way. Add more. You can then add more things in this pocket. Love it. In fact, let's add... Oh no, I've got the bucket and spade. Let me just chop that one off. Because it's a nice long one. So we've got, we can show that this is a pocket as they open these flaps. And then this gorgeous tag we'll keep those pages closed and they can add photos there as well could add a little charm maybe there but we can do that at a later date so it's really thick this page so hence the weight as well I may just take it down to uh, four pages because it's getting to be so that would be one instead of having six of these Oh my god, I'll have no papers left. <laughs> so come back on the next video and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.